I'm going to New York today, mostly to shop. You might think that uh, you know, flying from Costa Rica to New York, paying for flights and tickets to shop is a bad idea, but the truth is the extra cost that we have to pay down here for clothing and electronics is so high, flying to the US to buy them might be a better deal. I'm not reinventing the wheel here at all. Uh, if you've ever traveled to Latin America, um, you've probably seen people with two or three check bags of all the shopping they did. And it's true, it's been happening since I was a kid. And I remember my aunt used to travel to the US a lot. She'd always bring me like clothes and toys and all that because it was significantly cheaper. There was even an industry created around this. People used to travel to the States to bring in clothing and then resell it here. Uh, obviously, this is completely off the books. They're not paying import tax for that clothing. I don't know if people do that anymore. But what I'm doing today is very legal. I'm bringing a new laptop and some new clothing for my Everest. Let me give you some context. I'm gonna use the example of Costa Rica because it's of course the country where I live in. I'm sure this will apply to a lot of Latin American countries and probably a lot of third world countries as well. Point number one relates to acquisition power. The minimum wage in Costa Rica is around $600. That's around $4 an hour. Which means that these US products are already expensive for the average Costa Rican and then you know the extra money that we have to pay for them hurts. Now, don't get me wrong with what I say about Costa Rica. Costa Rica is great. Uh, we're one of the happiest countries in the world. We have universal healthcare, life expectancy up to 80. So even if you consider us a, a low wage country, uh, Costa Rica is great. But this takes me to my second point and the second problem here, which is our import taxes are crazy high. Import tax for clothing, 30%. Electronics and video games, 48%. And finally, the import tax for computers, which is a much more decent 13%, but when you add the extra 13% sales tax plus the store margin, yeah. So when people don't know the true price of a product, you can get away with charging whatever you want. But then Amazon came in, and this became the pricing reference for everything. So I do it when I have to buy anything. I go and check what the Amazon price is and realize how much extra I'm paying for it. So a whole industry sprung in Latin America in the 2000s where people would uh, order stuff online and have them shipped to an address in Miami that would forward all packages to their respective countries. Um, the largest company that does this is a company called Aeropost and it's still very expensive. Uh, like uh, The smallest package you can get, like a video game, which is just like a small, tiny light box, that'll be $15, $20. Uh, and that goes up depending on weight or the cost of the product because you have to still pay for the import taxes, but that's still cheaper than buying it in a local store. Black Friday, for example, became a thing because everybody in Costa Rica would start buying their Christmas shopping on Black Friday online with all the deals that you could get. So the laptop was half the reason why I came here. The other half is the clothing that I need for Everest Base Camp. I started this YouTube channel because I'm planning on going to Everest Base Camp less than a year from now. And I needed a lot of clothing, winter clothing that I cannot find in Costa Rica. And there's a North Face store that carries some of this stuff, but it's just crazy expensive. So what I do is I order all this stuff online, have it shipped to this, which is our sleeping office in New York, part of our WeWork space, and then just accumulate, like, accumulate boxes and boxes of packages, unwrap it all, find a way to fit it in my bag, and then head back. I made the mistake of going to Ikea, and Ikea is just so insanely cheap. Ikea is so cheap compared to what we get that, that the lamps in our office, we imported them all from Ikea. We ship, we pay the import taxes and the shipping and the customs handling and all that, and they were still cheaper than an equivalent cool lamp that we could buy in San Jose. So, is importing all this stuff legal? Um, so the laptop I will pass as my own laptop. This is the only laptop that I'm carrying. The clothing I'll pass as my own clothing and remove the tags and all that. The stuff that I do need to report is the IKEA furniture that I bought and they shouldn't have. So in Costa Rica, you are allowed to exonerate $500 worth of purchases every six months when you travel abroad. Uh, so you just fill in, report that, and then you're good to go. So I'll make a list over here as I'm doing the post-production of this video just to compare how much money I saved by flying to New York City to buy and pick up stuff. 
And now, last but certainly not least, a couple companies sent me a few goodies. And this is our very first time for me, so I'm appreciating this moment. Um, after my last video on smart homes, uh, a couple of smart home device manufacturers uh, shipped me a few devices for testing. And I appreciate this because I only started this channel a few months ago. So Lumary sent me a smart light switcher that I just installed on my non-smart lights. And what it does is it connects them to Alexa. So you can use Alexa to switch off traditional lights. You don't need to buy smart light bulbs to do that. I also got a set of smart plugs from iCore. And same as that, you can use them to make dumb devices smarter. Uh, it's what we're using in our office to have Alexa make our coffee. Alexa, make coffee. Coffee coming right up. And finally, the coolest of all, the guys from eTech City shipped me a digital scale, um, which combined with the infrared thermometer that they sent, uh, I can use not only for my barbecuing, but also to brew the perfect amount and the perfect temperature of coffee in my Chemex and you know a bunch of other kitchen stuff I do. Another reason why I had to fly to New York. But anyway, I don't want to get into a full debate on you know what tariffs should be and, and what the country should do to change that. Um, it's just a reality. Buying stuff in the US is cheaper and you know the math works as you can see. So it's not a bad idea to combine shopping, especially if you need to make a large purchase like a laptop uh, and then just go buy it in the US. So I'm super curious to know if you experience something similar where you come from. I know in the States this happens a little bit across state lines, but I'm sure that in other countries uh, similar situations happen. So if you have a similar story, please share it in the comments. As always, thanks a lot for watching. I hope that you enjoy the content. Hit that subscribe button if you do. You help my channel and you help my growing YouTube community. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next. I want to say next week, but it's going to be like two weeks till next video. Bye. Hey!